So there's been a hot fix come out since my last video. So this is the focus for today. She actually got buffed pretty heavily. Yag also got kind of moved around a bit. I'll do a video on that, I'm sure, sometime soon. And Io got more of like a sort of fix with the true healing from sacrifice and stuff, which technically makes it better. Bug fixes and then judges back too. That's a pretty quick overview for the patch. But Serious, even though it's only one card, actually makes a pretty big difference. I would pretty much default include this into any board you're going to be running at just level two because it's a full mag refill. Really, really good. It's kind of what it used to do before, but even better. Blood Pact also got changed, but that was in the actual patch and not the hot fix. It does the same thing though, just so that it can combo better with Forsaken, which is the main reason i'm imagining that they're changing it but if you don't run the talent which i don't think i'll do today because we're going to do damage service you're just active the entire time either firing or healing which also reloads you all right so for game one tdm throne shouts out to our kogo is asking if i was actually a dev which i get a surprising amount just because of the badge people think that i work on paladins i don't by the way in case that wasn't obvious but we've got alex ray talus versus fury at the bk ying and another talus they should be fine for service i really want too many scenarios where she does a bad job but do we go for internal torment i'm kind of tempted to go for this because i haven't really played with it very much i don't know if i actually made a video on it on the channel it could work but soul collector is kind of just the default i'll try it. it's probably going to be a short match anyway and then the build i'm not going to read through the chance or anything we're just going to jump straight in go for chronos and start spamming i probably should have done that a little bit earlier to maybe get like a cheeky angle or summon isn't really much of a reason for me to actually detonate it unless we're going to be hitting them or the team's kind of near them i'm going to go into the fh play it kind of safe and wait for the cooldowns a little bit there's a right click still going to be hitting for a ton hello ying there's a kill I feel kind of strange being this squishy not having soul collector is really really weird um there's a detonate it does still stun though so you get the stun and the bonus damage and kind of feels like you have soul collector without really worrying about the stacks and technically your team can benefit from it way more 20 percent is a pretty big difference in a lot of the team fights especially in like a tdm sort of thing we do a little bit less damage up front but then we can deal more afterwards i'm going to throw the orton's here and get them off the map i don't think that's going to pull them far enough oh my god right on the edge i actually messed it up that was close somehow i've actually not died yet though which is really really weird i feel super slow when i get some nimble even though we've got like the card level five that gives us speed whenever you hit a stack when we don't have the stacks it's a really really rough we haven't shown the card off particularly well so far it's been such a messy tdm I haven't really had much of a chance to actually play like a hybrid i've just been super focused on damage i'm gonna try and finish off this bk because he's kind of low there we go, I don't know how he didn't see me, there's a fear also here, there's a stun, follow-up kill, I feel like I'm showing off the talent way more than the build, but it is kind of working, it's just one of those things that, with the range and everything, you feel like, sort of, just peak hybrid series, I don't know if she's been in a better scenario for this sort of style ever, where you're playing, like, damage and constantly trying to do other stuff, and now it feels like you've got any downtime, which you did a little bit before, you know, just show the ultimate there in the middle, see if we get somebody, I don't know if I'd say she's been, like, sort of style as much as some other healers, but, yeah, definitely noticeable, there's... A kill on the BK. We pulled like three of them, but I don't know what the team's doing in this one. We were ahead, I think, for a little bit. Built a scenario to actually show off the new card, though, is more of like a seed sort of thing. After reload, because we don't have any ammo in the queue anymore. You don't really need it. You can definitely still run it. I did play around with that card still in like the build level one or two. There we go, though. There is your defeat. We did fine. Healing and damage wise, I actually healed more than I thought I did there. The set definitely worked. The one thing that I didn't really point out in that match, I kind of wanted to specifically for trying to play it like a damage, is that you can actually reload and then fire, and it won't actually consume your ammo because it's genning by your firing, because it doesn't gen it when you're holding it like it did before. Instead, you tap it and it gives you the ammo gen for one and a half seconds. So if you're firing, um, you're genuinely ammo while you're also using it if that makes sense siege dawn forge should be better though to try and show it off like a hybrid thing which is where i think it will work the best maybe even with the talent i don't like forsake that much but i think it can work specifically for different types of people i've seen it quite a bit played well it's just not really the way i'm used to playing series i guess teams for game two koga anara the and khan's are definitely a full healer series scenario we'll try and forsake for their side though drogos genos grover fernando and andro gonna start with rejuvenate although i'm not sure if it's actually you know chronos to start i feel like if we're gonna go for forsake it's probably rejuvenate blood reaper uh, treacherous ground i like to we're still going to be hybriding a little bit and then storm of bullets it feels very very weird uh, just in general feeling any sort of like breeze on my head there's a massive heal flipping at the amount of we have with that right click it's just kind of ridiculous when there's no quarter eyes on them we're like full genning some of the people especially the squishies just from one right click like kogor is full from half of the heal i really should be paying more attention to the tanks here though especially early game here with quarter eyes and stuff i should be doing way way better the heal is massive it's just kind of on a long cooldown i should be spamming like in between when we're just doing nothing there's a big q right click there on the car the is gone i really did not play that perfectly but the right way to use this is to be spamming the shots the entire time as a queue to get the shield down. To sort of show you what I mean, you can right click there, just instantly cancel it, and you'll still be gening your ammo. Uh, so you want to be way more active than you were before with Forsake, where it felt like a lot of time you're just kind of waiting for stuff to happen. You never really need to reload if you've got the card level 2, which is, again, the selling point for it. Don't know why it took me so long to actually explain it properly, but the heals on Forsake are kind of massive, especially when the quarter isn't that bad. I think late game it does fall off a little bit compared to the other options, just like, you know, a lot of healer setups, but don't really want to get into combat, but I'm, like, constantly fine, which is a bad idea. I wish we had a little bit of self heal in the build, maybe, like, level 1, try and get hit by that. They're both gone. Try and get some stacks on any of them. Nope. Somehow I feel like they're all lined up for that and just didn't get anything. Jumping into Drogo shots. What am I doing? We get Kronos too. That should be way better. I don't know how much of a difference that really makes with Forsake, but it should help out a little bit. There's a heal on the Anara and the Koga. Hello, Andrew. I feel like we can kind of duel him. There's a Q. Should be all right. Yeah, there we go. He's gone and just dropped down a little bit. There's a big heal on the Anara. Not enough to keep her up. The cooldown does feel a little bit lower. How much lower actually is it, though? Yeah, it's like 2.2. Definitely worth. I wasn't sure if it would be locked at 3 or would have like really bad diminishing returns or something weird with it, but no, it seems to work exactly as you'd expect. It just reduces the cooldown to 3. It doesn't do anything strange. Kind of sad I
other way around, really. There's a heal for the Koga. He's still up. That was kind of an insane counter. It's kind of gross because it doesn't have Cauterize on his ult. Maybe it should. The Grow is playing very ballsy here for somebody who can get CC'd. And I feel like we can just win the duel if I get super close. Definitely would recommend getting Kronos 1 over Rejuvenate 1. I think to start, it makes a way, way more sense. I think it feels significantly better, especially with the range and everything now. This actually feels like a sort of I didn't like it originally, but I can 100% see, especially with the car change, which I think makes a big difference why you'd run this, especially if you've got a little bit of selfie in there too now. They changed that one as well. Do I go for the ultimate? I don't know. Drogo's meant for his. I guess we threat. That should kind of work. That's going to be massive. Pulls them all in a bit of a weird spot. There's a queue. I should have set up the stun a little bit better. Just going for the ult. All right, Pianara, Leanne's on it. I feel like we could have that if I just stacked up the stun and actually used the ult a little bit better. I wanted to time it with the Drogos or Grover ult, I mean, going down, so that I maybe caught them by surprise a little bit, but instead I think I just kind of didn't do it and set up enough that Drogo's just going ahead and ulting the car, and there's a stun to stop him from getting the combo, and he should be gone. Nice. Don't know why I want to call everybody Drogos. It's kind of bad. There's the objective loss. Can we get the Q here to maybe save this play? Um, no. There's a hit F, so we get the speed buff. Going to drop down, go on the left side. Actually, sort of decent movement. I can't believe I managed to get out of there because I was in a really, really bad spot. Where do I go from here, though? Do we just try and stack the yeah, Fernando to get the stun, the shield kill? Yeah, there we go. Massive heal. Hello, Jones. For some reason, everyone just forgot about me when I went on the left side there. That was really, really weird. He's on nothing. Do I try and uh, use the Q to get the kill? He's got self heal. That didn't work. Uh, hello, Jogos. I'm off the map. I was dead there anyway. I died before I even hit the kill floor. More nimble, I think, is what we need here, though, because I'm just really, really slow. When we get the stack, it's sort of fine, but without it, I just have, like, no movement whatsoever. I've not been doing as good of a job as I should have done here as, like, the actual tank healer. It's been kind of tough, mainly for the timing, because especially the NR, I feel like, has been playing really, really weird angles. But yeah, just more heals. It's kind of tough when I got Cordyzone. That's a really bad thing with it, is the timing is, like, super, super tight. Am I dead? I'm somehow all right. I'll just stay here in the F. Don't know how the hell I didn't die there, but I really should be playing the timers a little bit better on the quarter eyes. And also, should have a little bit of self in the build. I'm really missing that 105 heal whenever we right click. It'd be kind of nice to have. I'm going to go into the F because the Grove's on the side. Drogo's ult. Um, can we heal from over here? Yeah, we're sort of fine. Not in a great spot, though. Leanne got rid of the Drogo's. Nice. Grover. Get the timing on it. There we go. I'm trying to get the timing for the Khan to maybe pull the shield up, but he's doing it kind of weird. He's also getting hit over it, which is kind of tough. Don't know really what to do here to try and save this player. I guess I go for the ultimate. Maybe. Maybe get like a three man pull or something. There's a big heal. There's the F. That was really, really scuffed again, but the team is kind of full health. We'll get out of the F. There's a heal. Massive right click, but the Cauterize is just killing it. I'm trying to time it with the Koga dashes or summon as well, but really I'm just not able to do as much as I'd like in this one, which is sort of what I was saying is I should be hybriding more, but it's kind of tough to do because constantly I feel like I need to pay more attention to the team. Kind of hard to explain what I mean in this one, but I think just from seeing the Jones on a 26 streak, you should get uh, what I mean. The teams are playing a little bit strange, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. 1-3, it's probably going to be a 1-4. If we recover it, it could go the other way, especially if the Koga starts to focus the Jounce a little bit, but yeah, the healers on their side feel pretty safe. We have the two tanks, and I'm trying to play with them, but I don't think we've got the damage right now to make this work, and I feel like I should be CCing more and damaging more, is kind of what I mean. We'll get the stun there on the Fernando. Is that going to be enough to clear him? I'm just going to focus on the damage. Grover on the side, nearly clearing me. I'm trying to get heals to the Liam, but her angle is just often really, really awkward. There we go. I feel like if people just give me vision for like half a second, we can do it. And the team just keeps dropping off the point as well for no reason when they're not really being pressured that much. They're literally one stack. He's gone. Okay. The Grovers should be out here too. Sometimes the team goes after him and it works as a stun. He's already CC'd and I can't try to ult. What was that play? I don't know. Heal there. Definitely feeling the extra court increase like 90% already when we're hitting like 12 a tick. It doesn't feel like quarter should be that high, but obviously after the changes, yeah, that change is... Just making a massive difference when you're playing like a full sake service, more so than a lot of the other setups you could be running. Uh, there's a two man stun, can we get it? That should be maybe enough. Try and get that quarter rise timing again, more important than it's literally ever been, I'm pretty sure. There's a stun on the Andrew, he should be gone here. Try and focus the damage. I don't know if he's actually even here because that was really, really weird. Uh, heal on the NR. If they're getting quarterized, there's no real point for me to even right click them because the heal is like 100, it feels like. And they've got no quarterized on them though. The heal is ridiculous, it's like 200 a tick and it feels like it ticks like a ton, but. Yeah, it's just not that much. Don't know what the Drogos is doing. I went into the F for no reason. We do have a little bit of F reset in the build, which is definitely nice, but I feel like we could do with having a little bit of self in there. I said that already, but I just wanted to point out that we do have F reset, which is giving us a ton of value. We're going to throw the ultimate there. Weird spot for it. Maybe get like a two man stun. There we go. No one's going to push in with me. Grab there on the Andro. Heal there on the Khan. Somehow I'm actually up and out of combat. I can't believe I managed to mess up that play, kind of, and not have the team going with me and play super separate. Jones is on the side. We can just ignore him. He's going for the ultimate. 260 a tick when she's got the rifle kill. That's kind of insane. Koga's playing very, very separate. I wish I just had like a mark heal would make it a hell of a lot easier we're gonna push this drogo's grover uh there's a q he's gonna get away there's a heal on the khan that's a drogo's ult don't really what i want to do i'm gonna go into the f and play it kind of save i don't think that andrew saw me maybe he did i don't know heal there on the vian q just to be annoying heal there on the khan it's literally like a hundred heal that's so bad koga unlucky timing there's the f we can totally survive the andrew ult. but yeah we actually kind of made that play away that wasn't too bad could have been better but yeah that was actually not that bad of an attempt there's a q just for a little bit of damage and 
yeah. two, three. Rejuvenate might be the better play, but I feel like Kronos over Rejuvenate makes more sense here. And armor plating, I can just kind of avoid. We're going to go for Kronos and Nimble. Feels strange. I think Kronos is just such a big deal with Forsake to try and get that spam heal more and get hopefully better timing with it. Much better game than I was expecting it to be, though, to be honest. We have big stacks. There we go. That was absolutely massive. There we go. Big heal with a right click, too. That was full power for Forsake Ceres for sure. Pop the ultimate. I'm not going to get anybody. I thought they might have fallen down a little bit on the back. That really didn't work out ahead in my head. I'm trying to stay out of combat. That was somehow kind of enough into combat from the Andro. Uh, can't heal. Thank you very much. Actually, going to save me. And is back here. Big heal with a right click. Not as much as I thought it would be, but she has obviously got a ton of health. It felt like it was more early game, even though obviously it's the exact same and more now because we've got Rejuvenate and stuff. andro has gone. Very, very strange. Heal there on the Khan. Hard to actually say if I should have gone for Forsaken this one or not. It feels like it's worked, but at the same time, it's also felt kind of jank. I wish Khan would just jump on the objective sometimes. That would make it a hell of a lot easier. The Koga's gone. Pulled a load of them away, though. That's some stacks. Q. Uh, F. I'm going to just try and run all the way around. He does see me. Leanne's here. Right click on her. She's full health. I guess we've got one heal off. There's a Q. Try and play with the team. Speed there coming through. Clutch. Um, okay, we're all right. Somehow Anara also got away on like literally one HP. I don't know how that worked. There's a big heal. It's 2-3. If they get the cap, they win it. Obviously, there's an Anara ult. Kind of huge. There's a stun on the Fernandez. Maybe buy some more time. Don't know why people are sometimes just firing into a shield, not really doing anything. There's a big heal. Trying not to die. There's a Q on the Fernando again. Also a little bit of self healing there. We're going to go throw our ultimate at the back, kind of. That's uh, so a Fernando ult to counter. Andro ultimate, that's going to be the end of it, I think. Trying to not get into combat, big heals on him. There's uh, Andro behind me. Okay, we're going to pull over this way. Heal there on the Anara. Khan's on it. Drogos is there. Heal on her again. No quarterize heal. There we go. Try to jump on it with the F. Uh, they both died. Drogos went for the ultimate as well. There was no way we were going to win that right there at the end. I just saw it kind of go downhill. There was a little glimpse of hope when they can't jump back on, but yeah really good game even though we lost it to be honest i think i did show off the setup well for sake it did feel kind of weird just because i'm not used to it but it did feel like possibly the right choice there i'm not sure i feel like i was doing a lot with serious our damage is actually pretty damn good considering we were also healing for that much 167k happy with that we did have the double tank obviously koga star the show there for sure i'm surprised we actually had that much damage considering we beat out everybody except for him on our side like anara and khan and leanne did fine she was definitely a bit of a weak link there but they played the point just the damage is kind of though which I noticed in that game, except for the Koga, who was going kind of hard, which is why I wish I went for a bit of a different character to be able to like mark him and stuff, because he was carrying, kind of. You can see what I mean here from the stats. The Jones actually didn't get like cleared that much, even though the Koga did really well. He wasn't really going after him, either or he was avoiding him really well, I'm not sure, but he healed for a decent amount. He damaged as well there too. A lot of that, I think, was from the ultimate, which he did quite well with. Fernando did all right there, though, definitely more focused on shooting, which was probably the right place where he could try and play the point a little bit more, which he did, but maybe going for damage and trying to hit the two tanks with like the Q, because I can't really block it that much, would have been a better option. I don't know. Uh, Drogos did well though, really really well actually, didn't really see him that much, it wasn't too annoying for me. Same with the Grover, his damage was also really high but it wasn't too bad. And then finally there, Andrew, who had definitely done a little bit better but didn't do like a terrible job or anything. I don't really know what else I can add here at the end, it's been a bit of a different video, I wasn't expecting it to go Seriously. in uh, the direction of me playing with the talents I don't usually go for. I was expecting to just do Soul Collector and show off the card, but I kind of did like 3 and one with the two talents and then also the new builds, but... I guess it makes for a better video, a little bit different, but I hope you have, yeah, enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did. I'll see you guys all, of course, very, very soon. Let me know what you think about everything I talked about. And as always, stay frosty.